Hi, I'm Ernie Cody, the owner of Bullseye Media. I live in Dallas and this is my expert tip. I get a lot of questions from dentists about reviews and a common response from dentist is, hey, I don't do reviews anymore because once I got a really bad review. So the question is, is a bad review better than no reviews? And the answer is a bad review is worse. You'll wanna have reviews for a couple reasons. One is the credibility. 93% of people look for reviews 79% of people trust an online review as much as a personal recommendation and people actually look for a bad review, right? They want to go see what somebody had to say. Was it egregious or was it petty and how did the doctor respond? So for credibility's sake, you need to have a lot of reviews. The second thing is for Google, it's amazing. One of the best things you can do for your website is have fresh new content, write a blog, add new fresh content to your, your website. Google considers a review fresh new content. So it's almost like your patients, you're, you're almost paying them, but you're not paying them to go give you fresh new content on your website. So you absolutely want to do it. There are two things I highly recommend when it comes to reviews. One is automation. If possible, if you can automate the process in your practice management system so that when a patient checks out, they automatically get a text or an email that will increase the number of reviews you get exponentially. The others you wanna to respond to them. Google looks at not only responses, but response times, so you need to respond quickly, and more than anything, respond in a HIPAA compliant way. Don't get yourself in legal trouble by responding inappropriately to a Google review, but get those reviews, they're really, really important.